In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create, customize, and embed a Google widget like this on your WordPress website. This is by using the Smash Balloon Reviews Feed Pro plugin. I'll be demonstrating using the Pro version of the plugin, where you can check out the free version with less features through the WordPress repository. To get started, visit smashballoon.com and purchase Reviews Feed Pro. Once purchased, you can find your download link and license key for the plugin inside your Smash Balloon account. Download Reviews Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. Now on your dashboard, on the left-hand side, hover over Plugins and click on Add New Plugin. Next, click Upload Plugin and upload the zip file for Reviews Feed Pro. And there we go. After that, click Install Now. Once installed, click Activate Plugin. Feed Pro has been installed and activated. To get started, on the left-hand side, you'll now notice Reviews Feed. Click on that, and over here, we'll first have to paste the license key from our Smash Balloon account to get started, then click Activate. Now our license key has been activated, and we can begin creating our Google Reviews widget. Go ahead and click on Add New, and for the first step, we'll have to add a source. Click Add Source, and on this menu, you can see all the different sources you can connect with Reviews Feed Pro. You can display reviews from Google, Facebook, TripAdvisor, Yelp, Trustpilot, and WordPress.org. Since we're focusing on creating a Google Reviews widget, let's select Google, and then click Next. With the latest update to Reviews Feed Pro, you no longer have to enter a Google API key, making it really convenient to connect your Google account and display reviews in just minutes. And for step number two, we'll have to enter a place ID for the place we want to fetch our reviews from. To find the place ID, you can click on this link here, and this will take you to Google's place ID page. And if you scroll down, you can find this map here where you can search for your location. For this demonstration, let's go with Disney World. This one here, once selected, you can see the place ID for that location just like this. You can copy it, then head back into your WordPress site, and paste it inside this box here, just like this. Then we can click on Finish. And there we go, Reviews Feed Pro has now added Walt Disney World as a source, and it's already selected, so we can click on Next. And for the last step of creating a Google Reviews Feed, we'll have to select the template for the layout of our feed. We have options like the default, simple cards, masonry, and more. For this video, let's go with the masonry template, and once selected, we can click Next. And just like that, we have a preview for a brand new Google Reviews widget right here. It's featuring the latest reviews from Disney World, which we added as a source. You can see that each review features the author profile picture, name, when that review was published, the star rating that was provided, and of course the review content. And on the top right corner, we also have a Google icon, indicating that the review is from Google. This acts as further social proof because your site visitors can see that the reviews are from a credible source. Our Google Reviews widget is now ready to be embedded inside a WordPress web page, but before I show you how to do that, let me show you how we can customize this feed. On the left hand side, under the Customize tab, we're going to Layout. Here, you can modify the layout of your reviews feed. At the top, you can choose from one of these three different layouts. Currently, we have the masonry layout selected, which displays your reviews in rows and columns. Above that is the list layout. This one displays your reviews in a single column list. And lastly, we have the carousels, which provides a more interactive feed that allows you to swipe through the reviews inside your feed like this. For this tutorial, let's go with the masonry layout. And if you scroll down, you can choose the number of reviews you want to display inside your feed on desktop, tablet, and mobile. At the moment, we're displaying six reviews, but if you want to modify it, just enter the number of reviews you want to display. For example, let's go with nine, and instantly our reviews feed will update to display nine reviews instead of six, which you can see here. I'm going to change that back to six. There we go. And lastly, we can also choose how many columns we want inside our feed. From the preview, we can see that we have three columns, but once again, to modify it, just enter the number of columns you want to display. Let's go with four, and just like that, we now have four columns instead of three, so you can customize your reviews feed to suit your exact needs. For now, let's go back to three columns, and if you make any changes, click save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to moderate the content inside your reviews feed, go to the settings tab and click on sort. Here you have options to sort the reviews inside your feed. At the moment, we're sorting the reviews based on date, with the latest reviews first. But if you open this up, you can also have the oldest reviews displayed first. Alternatively, you can also filter reviews based on rating. So if I toggle off the date, then ask it to filter by rating, it will now only show us the highest rated reviews. And lastly, we also have an option to randomize the reviews. If I toggle this on, it will randomize your reviews, keeping them fresh inside your feed. I'm going to toggle that off for now, and I'm going to re-enable by date. Next, let's go back and go into filters. Here we can add filters for our reviews feed. For example, at the top, we can filter reviews based on star rating. So if I go ahead and add 5 stars and 4 stars, our reviews feed will only display 4 and 5 star reviews. You'll notice that the 3 star reviews inside our feed have now disappeared. This allows you to display the best reviews front and center. Next, we can also add words as filters. Here at the top, you can add keywords so that you only display reviews containing that word. Inversely, in the second box, if you add a word here, your reviews feed will not display any reviews containing that word. Using these filters can be really helpful to isolate and only display certain types of reviews, or reviews talking about a specific product or service. Lastly, at the bottom, you can also filter reviews based on character count, 
with a minimum and maximum character count. You can enter a larger minimum to show longer in-depth reviews, or set a lower maximum so you're only displaying short, bite-sized reviews. With these filtering options, you can moderate your reviews feed as you see fit. But that's not all. If I go back and click on Moderation, you can see all the reviews that we have from your Google source inside your Reviews Feed Pro. If we enable Moderation Mode, you can choose the exact reviews you want to display inside your feed. There's two ways to do this with the Allow List and the Block List. With the Allow List, all your reviews will be hidden by default, apart from the ones you manually choose to display like this. Alternatively, if you go with the Block List, all your reviews will be displayed by default, apart from the ones you manually choose to hide, like so. And if you made any changes, you can click Save, but for now, we're going to disable it and click on Save at the top. And now that you know how to create and customize your Google Reviews widget, let me show you how we can embed it inside your WordPress web page. To embed it, click on Embed on the top right corner, copy your dedicated shortcode, then click on Add to a page. Next, select the page you want to embed your feed to, then click on Add. Now on our page, we have two different options to embed our reviews feed. The first option is to use a shortcode block, like so. Paste the shortcode that we copied earlier right here. Alternatively, if you're using Block Editor, you can use our dedicated reviews feed block like this. Just search for Reviews Feed, and it's this one here. With this option, you'll get an instant live preview of your reviews feed inside your WordPress page. Now we can click on Save and check out what it looks like on the live website. And here we are now on our live WordPress web page, and right in the middle is our brand new Google Reviews widget. It's featuring the latest reviews from Disney World, which we added as a source, and you can see the review content, the star rating, the author details, and a Google icon at the top right corner. Our reviews are displayed in a mastery template that we customized, and down at the bottom we can also click on Load More to load additional Google reviews directly inside our WordPress web page. Then at the top, we also have a header with the average star rating, total number of reviews, and on the right hand side, we have a write a review button. If site visitors click on it, that will take them directly to that place on Google with a pop-up window for them to easily leave a review. This makes it really convenient for your site visitors to go and leave a review for you on Google. And there you have it. That's how we can create, customize, and embed a Google reviews widget like this on your WordPress website. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments below. If you experience any technical issues, please contact our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. Please consider subscribing to our channel for social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.